So if you didn't know, Rust has been working on a new way of farming and just today in staging, part of that or most of it has just landed. Now as you can see, it changes the complex of farming quite dramatically considering now instead of just stuck chucking stuff in the planters or on the ground, you now have to effectively create your own indoor farm. A bit of a breaking bad situation, but playing around with it, it actually makes quite a lot of sense and it's actually quite well how they've done it. Now this is the first look just to show you how it is just now. Some of this may change. Pretty sure one thing will change which I'm not going to show just now because I'm pretty sure it is 100% going to. But to do this it is very very simple. We have some new assets in the game to allow us to do it. Mainly being the composter, the pump and the hose. Now there is also a splitter. It doesn't really come into play at the minute and there's a sprinkler now to get this working is very very simple you have to take a water container I'm pretty sure you can use the water barrel as well but I'm just gonna use the water catcher because a lot of people will use this at low tier there's a pump which is really only for pushing water up a height so you won't use it too often however I found that it's the best way to stop you wasting just triplets of water because you can just let your water catcher fill up and from there just turn it on and off as you need it. Then you get sprinklers. Now I'll put two sprinklers in place. I've found that only really three work at a time. We did try it with four a second ago but it just didn't really get there and I don't know if that's just how it's done or if there's a way to maneuver that. So the sprinklers have pass-throughs then you have your main water supply coming through. Take that from your sprinklers and put it into the other end of your pump. Now this pump is going to act more of a valve. I'll power it up just to show that it can be powered. As I said, that will be mainly so it takes water up a, a distance. So if you want to have your water catcher ground level and have your planters on the roof so they get direct sunlight, because you'll need sunlight or some sort of light for it to work for your plants to actually grow. Now, just to mention, there's also potatoes in here. So I'm actually going to use potato seeds. Power it up. And as soon as you power it up, just be aware that it will turn your valve on straight away. Just turn it back off. Now, as I said, this is just to show that it does actually power up in some form. If anyone's thinking what that generator is, it's just a test generator which admins can spawn in. So I'll take this off now and just show it as a normal valve because that's all you're really going to use it for. I can't see a lot of people power up unless you are a hardcore farmer. Now to fill this up, you just have to click on your water catch, your water barrel, fill up the catcher. Then from there, we'll just turn on the valve. Now, as you can hear straight away, water is coming from it and it just sprays down on top of the planters or any sort of ground that you're going to actually plant the seeds. Turn these back off, you see water stops straight away. Now, I'll put one planter down just to show how it works. Drop it down, I'll also put the potato seeds in there. Now, it's very interesting how these come together as well. There's a lot of complexity I think to make sure you get the right strand a bit like hemp was before now I'll show you the UI for it I said it goes quite in depth showing the light how much water and also how much fertilizer you put in here as well which I'll show in a second and you can make your own fertilizer which is quite cool so if you are more of a PVE person this is probably right up your street me I just like to pick stuff off the ground and eat it now the fertilizer as you can see, you put it into the planter and it will help it grow as well. Simply just drag it straight in and that's it. It's, you just, from here, as long as you've got light, fertilizer and water, you're going to get a good crop every single time by the looks of it. Now they said this may change, values may change, how different parts work, but I think the spine of the mechanics is all here now to pretty much say what it's going to do. Now the composter, again, I'm not going to go into the levels of what benches these are going to be on because all might change. They might be default, they might be level one. I'm pretty sure most will be level one. All you do from here is take these and your dung, which I'm guessing is going to come from horses, put it in and it will create fertilizer for you. And that is it. That is very simple. A lot more simple than electric, to be honest. But it's just a first look to see what's actually on staging just now. If I was you, I would jump in, have a look, keep following it on the Face Punch Twitter because they're doing loads of updates for it at the minute as well. So guys, I've been me, 
you've been you. I'll catch you in the next one.